<laughs> Hi, I'm Marlo Felton. Hi, I'm St. Patrick's. <laughs> no, this is my husband, Chris Felton. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Ding. Hope you're having a, a responsible and fun. Wait, you're not Saint wearing green. I'm not. Does that mean you have to? <laughs> she, sure. He's gonna have to pinch me. So happy St. Patrick's Day, and um, thanks for joining us. We're here today to talk to you about my recent blog. What if you out earned your problems? So I remember years ago uh, when uh, problems seemed to be all around. Um, things were happening and they always seemed to cost money and it would feel really heavy and I of course didn't like the way that that felt so I thought about it and I decided that I was going to change my focus and think about what if I out earned my problems now I often say money isn't everything but it's important and that there's really, there aren't many problems that you would have in your life that money couldn't solve, right? If you think about some of the issues that come up and if you, if you have enough money, you can solve those problems. Now we won't mention the problems that you can have that money won't solve because no. those are unfortunate and I'm not going to talk about those, but there's very few. And, and really taking this different perspective and this mental shift on my problems, it, it, it made it feel lighter and um, I had a better attitude about it. It made me feel more in control that I could have that thought instead of the heaviness of feeling like I couldn't uh, afford to deal with these problems that seemed to keep coming at me. And I know many people do struggle with, you know, th things happen in life and it always feels really heavy and it weighs you down. And, you know, really making that mental shift. And, you know, I know, you know, Chris, you, you talk quite a bit. We have talked quite a bit about the what if concept. And so this is really just being very specific with a very specific what if thought. What if you out earned your problems? And so why is the what if important well, and that, powerful? I mean, I think, you know, before I talk about that, I think I think the Here, problem problem is, geez, that's a big class. <laughs> It's like a freaking big gulp. <laughs> no, she, went to, she went to 7-Eleven no, and was like, can I get a... She's hiding. How much hey, I don't have a straw. she's got in there. Here, no, see how much... Is no. that not like... I just... <laughs> okay. Hello, out drink, what, your, out drink your problems. Out drink your... No, that's not what we're talking about. I tried about. that. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't, yeah. It doesn't work. It I'll tell you, it doesn't work. It didn't work. work very well. No, I mean, I, I think the... I think the problem is... You know, people are just, and we, we see them all the time. We're in front of hundreds and thousands of people every month is, you know, this is the amount of money I make and this is how I make it. And they just get stuck in that. And, and so when they have money problems, they're just like, oh my God, I got my problems. And then this is the amount of money I see myself making. And then this is how I'm going to make money. And and so so part of this is not only like the what if statement that I'm going to talk about, but it's also what helped us was just sitting down and going, okay, what could we do to raise our income? And just, you know, brainstorming and, you know, multiple streams of income and how to add that. And, and, and when you start, you know, thinking about solutions, it just, it frees you up so significantly. Right. And you actually feel like you're in control. And then you, you uh, kind of, uh, you know, bust the, uh, the old program and you actually start getting creative, and when you sit down with your spouse and you, and you you work together, um, the, the term's called a mastermind. And what's cool about a mastermind, and the definition of a mastermind, is when two of two or more minds come together in in like purpose and in, in like goals, then a third invisible mind appears, and that third invisible mind is, is creative, and and you come up with stuff. So 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 there's power of just scheduling time and going, what am I going to do? Um, to raise it, but you know the, the the what if statement is most people are always you know what if what if things go wrong and what if it gets bad or you know what if we lose our house or what if this or what if that <clears throat> and my good friend Jonathan Mansky taught me you know how to what if up and most people don't what if up they don't what if you know and so what works significantly for me and us was what was that ideal income 
that we needed to earn to basically make all those problems go away. Right. And I, and it was defined. And then literally that was the what if we made that amount? Right. What if over right. and over again? So, so if you're just joining us, I'm Marlo Felton. I'm Chris St. Patrick's Felton. <laughs> Chris, and happy St. Patrick's Day. And I'm wearing and green. And drink, drink responsibly. And you're having happy hour with the Feltons on St. Patrick's yeah. Day. And this is a gluten-free beer. It's glu yeah. It's actually I, decent. It's, well, not, it's okay. an IPA. And, okay. And they're not paying us. No, <laughs> not. Maybe we should but, ask them. But what we're what we're talking about today is what if you out earned your problems. And I was speaking earlier about the heaviness of problems because most problems you have can be solved with money. Money isn't everything, but it sure is important. And it can come in handy when you have issues. And actually, a perfect example of this, um, just about a week or so ago, Chris um, called me and he had a flat tire. Now, if that had happened 10 years ago, I would have completely freaked out and been wondering how well, much, <laughs> like, oh my gosh, how much is the tire going to cost and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And I... Well, the last time I had a flat tire, you had to drive and help me. Oh, yeah, that's a whole nother story. <laughs> I had to change his tire. I changed this man's tire for him because Hopefully he called no me. Hopefully no men are watching Oh, this. my gosh. If this lost all respect wow. for me. And, I got yeah, it done this time. Though. He did. He actually did get it done this time. He learned. He learned because I taught him how to change a tire. So now, so this time when he got a flat tire one, I knew he knew how to change a tire because I taught him how to change a tire. And two, so I knew I knew that we had the money and whatever the tire was going to cost. I knew it wasn't like ten thousand dollars, but I knew whatever the tire was going to cost, it wasn't going to be a huge deal. So I, I, um, I didn't have that stress about that. But many years ago, I, I didn't like this icky feeling and this heavy feeling I got about all these issues and these things that came up in our lives. And I decided to shift my thinking to ask myself the question over and over again, what if I out-earned my problems mm -hmm. and they didn't feel so heavy? And I'll tell you, it was empowering. Um, to really make that mental shift and and Chris you, you were just sharing about the what-if statement and how you know most affirmation statements people um, You know your mind goes to you know knock it down if you just say I out earn my money my problems Your subconscious is gonna go. Well. No, I don't yeah, I, it, fight, I, it fights you right. Yeah, and so yeah. Well, no. Yeah. It's, it's uh, the, the problem sometimes with affirmations is, you, you know, when you say them, you come from a state of, of disbelief and you, you come from a state of resistance. Is that good? Carry on. I'm just taking a sip. Jeez, that was a big gulp. <laughs> um, anyway, it, so you come up from a state of resistance and it's not what you're saying. It's how you're feeling as you're saying it. And so, so the, the problem with that is when you say, you know, I'm financially independent or I'm a millionaire or whatever, your unconscious mind goes, no, you're not. You're a jackass or whatever. It, fight, it fights you back. And, and the power of what if is your unconscious can't fight a what if statement. It can't. So, you know, I was running around going, hey, what if we, you know, cash flow this amount? It, what if I was already financially independent? What if I was already financially free? And, and I get it wasn't you know, out there and it, it, there was no evidence of it. But what we've been talking about, you know, for years is the whole inside out approach. And, and once you start believing on the inside, the outside matches. And so as you're affirming, it's, it's the outside world's going to change. And so after, you know, thousands of what if, what if, what if, what if, what happened to me personally, was I started, I started seeing myself making that amount of money. My income thermostat went up because everybody's got an income thermostat. If I say this is what you make, there is a number that pops in your head. And, and you will stay within you know, 10, 20% of that. And if you don't upgrade the amount of money that you see by using a what if statement, by imaging, by visualizing, by some of the things we talk about in our programs, you, you're you're always going to be in that in that range, and so the power of what if that next income level 
is you, you reset your thermostat yeah. and then you start going to a whole new level. So it's just, it's super powerful. Right. It's incredibly powerful. And so if you're just joining us, we're talking today about, <laughs> he's going to, happy St. Patrick's Day. You're having happy hour with oh, the that's, Feltons. That's why, that's why you like it. Because it's good. <laughs> it's good. Um, so bad. we're talking about a what ifs, a very powerful what if statement to think about and focus on every day, um, which is what if I out earned my problems? Because as we were discussing, um, feeling weighed down by problems is not a great way to go about your day. And there aren't many problems that money can't solve. Um, as we mentioned, you know, there are a few unfortunate ones we don't want to talk about, but really there's there, most problems can be solved with money. Money isn't everything, but it's important. And it can relieve you of the stress that your problems can bring. So until you reach the point where it doesn't, they don't become an issue and heavy, shifting your focus uh, mentally of how you view your problems and, and say to yourself, as I did years ago, I was... I was tired of feeling this heaviness about all the different issues I had to deal with. And so I just chose to think about, well, what if I out earned these problems? What if I out earned these problems? And I started to feel empowered by that, that I had more control over my problems in that way. And that I was on my way to out earning mm -hmm. my problems. And that's really the key. Even though I wasn't there yet, I felt that I was on my yep. way to out earning my problems. And we really want you to feel the same way. And so you can start today by asking yourself and focusing on what if I out earn my problems. And we hope that you do. Um, I have included a link for you to read my blog and also continue the conversation in the forum. The forum. There's a link in there to, to join the forum. Love um, to have forum. Um, interactive conversations with Chris and I 24-7. Um, More happy hours. I think he's going to have another drink of my wine. <laughs> um, but we want to wish you a happy St. Patrick's Day. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> How many, uh, more was, did, no, this was how many more did she ha have before this? Happy St. Patrick's Day. That's her first. Please can... drink responsibly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us. That's <laughs> <Now it's laughs> a public service. <laughs> That's a public service announcement. Facebook. Please be careful out Please there. Please have your pets spayed and neutered. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> public. We, we Don't like, text and drive. We've literally only had about that and much. And definitely not drink and alcohol. drive. I seriously just poured this she wine did. and was. <laughs> Don't drink and drive. Don't yes. text and drive. Yes. Okay. I mean, we could, we could go on. And on. <laughs> okay. I think we'll just end with ones. that. Yeah. But um, so click the link to read our blog. Don't don't ski in. You know, <laughs> Honey, avalanche stop. areas. Okay. All right. Thanks for joining us. Wear Happy St. Patrick's Day. Seatbelt. Wear a seatbelt.